Maybe you've heard about the proposal from the DEA to reclassify marijuana as a less dangerous drug on a national scale. While it's not official yet, that has two very different groups in Colorado, dispensary owners and doctors, asking what does it mean in our state? Denver 7's Colette Bordelon explains their concerns. Carmaceuticals in Denver is the definition of a mom and pop shop. Every, almost every owner is local and small and cannabis in every state, which is a beautiful thing. They're ultimately happy marijuana will likely be reclassified from a Schedule 1 drug to a Schedule 3. But they're concerned about what that could mean for Colorado. Specifically in local businesses, it essentially is paving the way for large corporation center. Austin Martinson is the owner of the dispensary and wonders if the change would open up the industry too much. My pops that are in it for the long term and, and doing it right now, the only protection we have is the is the laws and the regulations and the, you know, the, the risk. I mean, technically, every time I sell cannabis, I'm still breaking a law. Marijuana as a Schedule 1 drug is in the same category as heroin, for example. These are substances outside of the medical realm, but the reclassification to Schedule 3 could allow for some medical uses. Dr. John Williams is worried the change would require a prescription for cannabis. I, I don't see how any marijuana, if this goes through, won't be you know, classified as, as medical now. And I, and I don't think that was necessarily the intent. I think there is a misconception that physicians in Colorado already prescribe marijuana. What they can do is uh, give a person a, uh, a, an endorsement for a uh, medical marijuana card, but that's not the same thing as a prescription. He fears this could hurt recreational marijuana shops and sales. And the tax revenue, whether you're for or against uh, medical marijuana or any or recreational, it does benefit the state. I think either keep it where it's at or legalize it, and that's up to Congress, not me. Perhaps maybe that's their long-term goal is to try to force it all into medical. I don't know if I see it that way. I think that recreational has too much push. Martinson, along with others, believes this new classification could be a stepping stone to federal legalization. That would be pretty detrimental to the mom and pop and the culture that we've been building for 15, 20 years. He hopes whatever happens on the national scale doesn't send the small shops out of business. Club Bordelon, Denver 7. Now, the DEA proposal still has a ways to go. It has to go through the White House Office of Management and Budget. If that's approved, there would be a public comment period and an administrative judge would have to review it. Going in depth here, experts say this reclassification would mark the biggest federal change in drug policy since 1970. This comes as Colorado's marijuana sales have actually slowed down in recent years. Last year's sales are down to levels not seen since 2018 at one and a half billion dollars.